Hey guys, what's up? It is Abitoro, and I am bringing you a little bit of Tunnels Through Time. It's an adventure map that I found on the Minecraft forums. And, ow, broke my kneecaps. But, so, yeah, let's begin. Um, by the looks of, I have played this a little bit earlier when I was trying to get this first video up, but I was using the free version of Fraps, and as I'm sure some of you know, that records in like 29 second little clips so that didn't work so i had to splurge and buy the real thing for like 40 bucks but now hopefully this records and works so i know like the first maybe half hour of this but this is like a three hour map so let's uh get going so we'll read note one so mission briefer from mr mortimer tally -ho, team, we recently set up a group of four archaeologists deep into the jungle to explore an ancient temple and document their findings, but a few days ago we lost contact with them. Your job is to fly in, track down the team members, and help them finish their mission. Also try and pick up as many ancient bricks as you can find. They're worth a small fortune on eBay this time of year. So, Minecraft doesn't have computers, but we'll run with it. And I could really use a new moustache curler. I love that word. Cheerio and good luck. All right, so let's roll. Oh look, a convenient branch. Oh, whoops. Um. So, not. Sounds already saying. Not really sure what this is. Water. Chest. Give me some loot. Brewing stand, nope, nothing in there. Read note two, I'll do that. Cake and water. I do like waterfalls. Do you, ow, ow, ow. A little umbrella, I would like. I need to put on my booties. That booty. Give me that booty. So, like I said, this first part, I may rush through it a little bit, because I know everything, and I kind of want to get back to where I was after my first little half-hour play sesh, but things happened, and it didn't exactly work out, and my fan is kind of freaking out right now, so... I don't know if you guys can hear this, probably not. I'm just gonna prop that up a little bit. And if the recording goes so bad that I have to restart, then that'll just suck. So read note two. Name Charlie Dufflin. Status KIA. Nature of incident mauled by and the rest of the note is unreadable. Back to the game. Alright. So we go over... Oh, I didn't even read this. And I know you can break soul sand. So I'm going to steal his tunic. Put both those bones. Doesn't grab the sword. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Give me that hat. And a tunic. And the trousers. Ooh, rashers. I'm. Your stupid face. No, I'm kidding. You're beautiful. Alright. Read note three. Charlotte Lee's Diary, page eight. Your diary. I got another archaeology lesson from the team leader today. He taught me to never break any blocks inside a ruin, unless it is a block of pesky soul sand. If I see any of that stuff, I should punch it away. You never know. There could be some treasure behind it. And away we go. So, I know there are collectibles in this map, and... Oh. Uh. Ha. Come at me. Tempting fate right now, and... So... This is the treasure that he was talking about, these the bricks, and 
I may, I may not bother collecting them all. Interesting. I may not bother collecting them all just because I know that I probably won't finish every single one of the challenges. So, yeah. Uh, to pass, you must answer a riddle. It's been around for millions of years, but it's no more than a month old. What is it? Answer wisely. If you get stuck, there's a hint. So, I already know the answer, and it's the face of the moon because it goes through phases. Legend of Zelda ding. Well, let me check the sound on this. Let's turn that down a little bit. Um, that should be all right. You have one. There is me blade. Only use me blade. Nah. So check one alpha. Night time. <sighs> I remember my last playthrough, I uh, didn't have any checkpoints because it was always daytime, and it kind of sucked. So I'm going to put my brickles in chest, pop some more enchants, and let's go. So I have heard that there is, or I've read actually, I haven't heard anything, I've read that there is a boss fight on this map. Two boss fights, actually, so... Three obstacles bar the way, a paint drink... Oh, okay, so... Yeah, fire potions... Over here, all. Glub, 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 glub. And let's bounce. Whoop. So I'm just swimming through... Lava... I would love to swim through lava if it didn't kill you in real life. That'd just be amazing. Oh, didn't get it. Yeah, like I felt, I felt, like I said, if I'm going too fast through the map and you guys aren't getting it so far, it's uh, I already played a little bit, so you know, tough cookies. I know a little bit of the map, and it's not much that's important comes up. In the first part, I think I just, where I left off, I was at some city or something, and doesn't grab. Give me that solid booty. Oh. So, I haven't missed too, you won't miss too, too much. I don't like being on fire. Oop. Ooh. 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 I love Legend of Zelda. Uh, oh, did I? Oh, I better not have just totally biffed it. Did I mess this up? <laughs> uh, Alright, you know what? For every problem, there is a solution. And if I can figure it out, I'm gonna do a little bit of corner cutting. See if I can just drop down. Uh, no, the game, no, oh, come on, game. Can, can, can I? Oh. You know what? I don't. I don't like cheating, but sue me. It's. I'm sure. Well, I know I can do this. I've done this before. It's not. It's like. It's like. It's a two-block gap. I mean, it's not the most elite jump in the world. So, checkpoint Bravo. I'm gonna eat a piece of meat. Do I have a cookie? No, I don't have a cookie. Cookie. Nom 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 nom. Norman Simmerworth. Boop 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 boop. So, upgraded gear. 
I'm gonna put this in the chest. So I have some gear just in case I die. Cause I probably will die. But you never know. And that would really kind of suck to have nothing afterwards. Um, boop. Uh, is there anything else I need to do here? Yes. Not night time. Okay. Read note five. Professor Simmerworth, research notes. 5.30 p.m. Someone has to go through first. I am record or I'm going to record his progress on the only thing I can on the only thing I have close to hand. A slightly smashed music disc. Five thirty two. Oh god, we are all doomed. I'm not going through that door. I'm not going. If anyone finds this note, run while you still can. Six forty five PM Professor Simmerworth is no longer with us. He su he sustained heavy injury during the last chamber. I have buried him nearby. I'm going on alone. Well, that's dark. So. Oh god! Oh god! Oh, spiders. No, 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 no. Come at me, bro. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Joseph Hancock. Mr. Joseph Hardcock. Okay. Shut the fuck up. You have no friends. Yeah, they're not. They're just still coming. I'm out. Alright, hug that left. No, I'm gonna go this way. I usually hug the left wall just because, but I feel like hugging the right wall now. Okay. And that music needs to stop. Because it is... Levering me. Lever me alone. Oh, oh, oh. Chest. Chestles. Give me that chestle. Wait. Oh, there we go. That chestle. Alright, so let's... Bounce. Um... Let's go right over now. Uh, oh, right. And down, down, down we go. Down the super cool. I'd be really cool if, uh, actually, that'd be pretty easy to make. Just a spire down the middle like this with pistons. No, 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 can't touch this. Ooh. Read note seven. All right. Jock MacPorridge Diary. After completing the maze and heading down a narrow staircase, I find myself in a giant chamber with some amazing, or with something amazing. There's a massive structure here made out of a material I can't quite identify. A material that looks quite alien. Hmm. Is there something hanging from the ceiling ahead? I will go investigate. The note is stained with blood. Well, he died, so that sucks. I don't want any of his remains. Hello, Zomble. And Mr. Mr. McMenderman. Portal, shut up. Read note eight. A voice breaks out of nowhere, speaking alienese. It's just as well Mr. Mortimer taught you to speak alienese. Warning to all biological personnel aboard the vessel. This vessel is encountering serious atmospheric issues. All personnel who are not able to evacuate should report to bridge for bridge for X-31 evacuation procedure or for cryostasis. To access the bridge, you will require the bridge key, which is stored in the engine bay. Thanks. God damn those... Nope, that's a nope. 